welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new i'm going on a super spontaneous mexico trip next week we literally booked this like a few days ago and we're leaving next thursday so a lot of just last minute prepping is in order for that i'm planning on getting a color change for my pedicure this week potentially getting a facial in if i can and obviously i'm going to show you guys the whole packing process and everything that i bring i honestly wanted to get some new bikinis but i don't think they're gonna arrive in time for the trip so so I'm settling with the bikinis I have, which I already have a good amount of bikinis. I have a bikini obsession. Like I swear every summer, every like tropical vacation, I want to have new bikinis. So I feel like I'm doing something different, something new. But I started this vlog because I just received packages in from Amazon, some things that I ordered for the trip. So let's unbox it together, shall we? The first thing, I think I know what it is. I wanted to get a little body waist chain because I feel like that's very Mexico and also really cute. Here she is. It's like a double thin chain. I'm gonna link everything that I mention in this video in the description box for you guys so you can shop if you're interested. But you guys, I'm so excited to be going somewhere warm, especially in February. Brandon and I actually wanted to go in April, but his days off ended up changing to February, which was like in a few weeks from when he changed them. So we were like, well, we still wanted to do Mexico on his days off. We should still go. And like, that's why it ended up being so spontaneous. But we're going to an all-inclusive and I'm so excited and I haven't been somewhere tropical in a while so I'm so excited and I think also staying at an all-inclusive is going to make it a lot easier for us to prepare because everything's pretty much taken care of we don't really have to do too much for that but this is the chain it's just like a plain thin chain but this is gonna be so freaking cute with a bikini can you picture it can you picture it so we'll see how this goes I'll try it on later maybe I was looking on other sites and then I realized oh wait I can order from Amazon and it'll come like in a day which is super handy and then I've got some things in here. I think I have two things. It should be two things. I wanted a little beach cover-up that was more Mexico tropical vibe. Obviously I can just wear like a skirt and a tank top or like shorts and a tank top but just feel like it's not as cute for Mexico. Okay so here is the cover-up. It's like a crochet beige. It looks kind of weird in the packaging. I'll take it out and show you guys. I also got Atomic Habits to read as my vacation book. I've had this book on my list for a long time. I also just finished a book so I think it's appropriate to get a new one and I feel like having a book for a trip is gonna be really nice I can read it by the pool by the beach. I'm so excited. So comic habits. I've heard so many amazing things about it and Let's open this Ooh, okay. I hope this works. If not, I can always return it. Okay, let me just stand up and show you guys. This is what it looks like. They also had white, but I kind of felt that the beige color would be cuter. I'll try this on later as well and see how that goes. But I just wanted to start off the video with that haul because I literally just got that in and I'm going to be filming up until the trip to show you guys everything that I'm doing to prepare. But anyways, I'll keep you guys updated and we'll keep chatting throughout the week. The other thing is that I also just went to get another COVID and flu vaccine. For Mexico, they recommend you get a bunch of vaccines and like just prepare. There's a chance that you could get ill from the water there, but also other viruses that could be there too. So obviously we're staying within a resort and it's going to be really great. I've been meaning to go get another COVID and flu vaccine just to be up to date. Yeah, so that's good. That's one thing I wanted to get done. I'll keep you guys posted and chat with you guys soon. It's Monday. I'm just getting my morning started. I woke up at around 8 30 this morning and I've got my book, my journal, and my iPad, and I'm ready to go downstairs and take this one out. But in prep for my trip, I have so much laundry to do today. So I'm gonna do my morning. It came out. I have two really big loads of laundry to do. I waited a few extra days this week to do my laundry because I'm leaving on Thursday and I just want to have really clean clothes for my trip. I'm ready to get the week started. I have a long to-do list. I I wrote it all out on my iPad last night. So let's get to it and just start checking things off. Just been 
plugging away with some work. I've created a to-do list for every day this week leading up to my trip. I did this before I went to bed last night on my iPad. I've had an iPad Air for a while now since I was in school and it was really useful for me when I was in school but I have been finding myself not even wanting to use it or like picking it up. But I'm trying to enter my iPad era again because I think that I need to really put this to use and it's a great piece of technology to have and just utilize for my day-to-day -day productivity and everything. But I'm already getting a lot of things checked off. I literally just use the notes app. I find that it's easiest for me to just jot everything down. I did purchase good notes for my iPad but I just haven't gotten into it as much as I like thought I would. I had to do a couple reels, send a reel to a brand so I just checked that off my list and I feel really good about that. I also even put like a little packing list because Wednesday is going to be my pack day and I just started kind of making a brief list of things that I like can't forget. Obviously I can just jot it down if I like think of something that I definitely need to bring. Now that all my content's done, my laundry's currently going. I'm probably gonna have to fold all that in a little bit because I think it's gonna be done soon. I'm gonna make a phone call. We're flying with Air Canada or like we booked our whole vacation through Air Canada and I just wanted to call them to double check about our transfer from the hotel to the airport and the airport to the hotel and then also about having a checked bag. I'm like 98% sure that we have a free checked bag and I just wanted to get confirmation on that because for some reason it doesn't say that on the booking but like when we booked it it said that just trying to get some confirmation so I just found out looking at this email that this phone number is actually just to ask them once we arrive so I feel like that'll be fine I feel like once we arrive we'll be able to find the transfer no problem Ooh, I wanted to show you guys I also got a little dress yesterday from H&M I was out for coffee with Jen and there was an H&M nearby and we kind of looked in and browsed quickly and I found this really cute like beach dress that would be cute for my trip so let me show you guys. I also caved the other day and bought a pair of like big chunky hoops from Amazon. I already returned the waist chain and that crochet beach cover up. But this is the dress. It's just like a maxi dress. Has like a little bit of ribbing. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's like a thinner material. Good for the beach. Good for dinner. Good for a cover up on top of a bikini. And it's long. But what I like about it is it doesn't go like all the way to my ankles. You know the really popular like maxi skim stress that one I tried on before because I was really interested in getting it I loved how it looked on so many people it literally went all the way to my ankles and it made me look really short I felt like so I didn't really like it but I feel like this one's nice not to compare this to the skims dress this is literally H&M but she was $30 it goes to like the middle of my shin which I feel like is perfect like it's maxi but it doesn't cover my whole body and I think it was just a nice little purchase for the trip oh yeah and I also want to show you guys my clothing racks really full but I'm starting to kind of put some outfits for the trip over here. This stuff's like my winter stuff that I'm trying to wear or like post in. And then everything here is like trip stuff. I've got some button-ups, like three button-ups and then tops that could be cute for the trip. And then obviously my dress that I just bought. I've got those Amazon earrings coming. So I'll show you guys that when it arrives. Another thing that I have on my list to do either today or maybe Wednesday last minute is to just go and get some cash for my trip. So I'll be doing that this week along with a lot of everything shower stuff. I want to dermaplane my face, do my eyebrows, just all the things. And then I have press-ons to put on too. So I'll take you guys along for all of it. If you've watched one of my pack with me videos before, I've done this now a couple times within the past year because I've been on a few trips recently and I feel like I have my prep and pack routine down. So I'm really excited for this week. Also, I'm going to be gymming tonight. <laughs> started with my day now and I'm about to film a brand deal that I need to get done and filmed and sent in before I leave for my trip which is in t-minus two days I figured that I should just put these press-ons on that I got for the trip now so that my nails will look good when I'm filming so I'm just gonna do this now I know it's like a little bit early and sometimes they can fall off but these are my favorite press-ons if you've watched my recent videos I've been trying to get gel and just grow my nails but now they're back to being 
being stubby and small because they just weren't strong enough yet to have them long and with gel so I'm back to press-ons for now these ones I get from Amazon and I'll link them below I just haven't been able to find them for some reason they're not available on Amazon right now so I bought them from London Drugs and they were on sale so that was helpful and handy it comes with a little mini file and the little wooden pick thing which is really helpful for like shaping your nails but as you guys saw I did a ton of laundry yesterday and I'm just feeling so much better like I just feel cleaner and way more put together now that I've done all of that and I'm kind of just wrapping things up now just my work I got a video done yesterday that I also needed to get done and sent in so I'm really happy about that and then I think I'm gonna feel really good after filming this today too the one thing I really like about getting gel nails is that they really shape your nails nicely clean them up clean up the cuticles all that because I feel like I'm so bad at doing that at home like on my own but it's okay I think either way the press ones are gonna look really good a set of press ons is only like $11 $12 so it's really affordable and I think it's a great way to save money but also have really nice looking nails I get a lot of compliments on my nails whenever I have the press ons on and then when I tell people they're press ons they're like what because they actually look like acrylics especially these ones that i use on amazon they're called the graceful set by kiss and i like them because they look like a french tip i don't know if you can really tell in the lighting it's like round so it's not too pointy it's not too square i really like a natural round shape so i think that these ones are perfect but i'm just gonna go ahead and like line them all up for the sizes that i want for each nail and then just glue them all on from there and then start filming in the bathroom follow me on my instagram because I'm really excited about this video coming out. That's a partnership. It's a brand that I really love and I'm just really excited to film it soon. I'm wearing my robe. It's like a little get ready with me style. Okay, I'm gonna do my nails now. I never know like what to wear at this time of year because the temperature is kind of in the middle so I don't know if I can like wear a puffer jacket or if I should wear a sweater but I'm definitely gonna wear my puffer and then wear this t-shirt there's always a balance but I'm in the gym I'm gonna hit up the body and I'll see you guys when I'm there In a bit i went to the gym made dinner and i've been like sitting here watching tiktoks but also like debating when to like wash my hair do my everything shower and self tan this is such a girl problem and a girl thing but like between now which is like tuesday night and thursday morning when i'm leaving also i'm staying at brandon's house tomorrow night because we're getting a ride from his house so i have to have everything packed and ready by tomorrow night and i don't necessarily want to be doing all that stuff at his place because first of all i don't have that stuff with me at his house but i think right now the plan is to just have a regular shower and then tomorrow i'm also gonna go to the bank get some cash for the trip and get gas that's literally it i just need to get gas for the car and get cash from the bank and then pack edit if i have time to edit and then do my everything shower have dinner with my family and then go to brandon's house so that's the plan and i have a lot to take you guys with me for so i'm excited i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update but i'll see you guys tomorrow for the really big busy day hi guys it is the next day and i ended up putting together somewhat of a cute outfit for my little errand trip that i'm about to go on i'm wearing this long sleeve from Cezanne. this trench is from abercrombie these yoga pants are cotton on purse is brandy melville and i'm gonna go get my cash now i'm also gonna drop off a return before i leave on my trip day's going well so far slowly starting to kind of pack and put things together i just put aside my jewelry that i think i'm gonna bring with me i might add or take away some things but i feel like these 
these are some good contenders. I've got this little coin purse like jewelry pouch from Samara that I love and I've been bringing it on all of my travels lately. It's really great and I like how compact it is. This little shell necklace is really cute. I feel like for the beach and it's from Modu Atelier. These are my new Amazon earrings that I just got. These are also Modu Atelier. I really like their jewelry. I got these for Christmas. I haven't worn them enough yet and I think they'd be so cute for the trip. Also Valentine's Day. These are from the Perfect Hoop. I feel like a chunky hoop would be so good for the trip. And this little bangle is from Ana Luisa, which I feel like would be nice for like a little dinner. So this is what I've got so far. Obviously got my own rings as well that I'll be bringing with me. But yeah, let's go get these errands done with so I can get packing and then get going with my everything shower too. I've got a little hair mask in my hair slick bag because honestly my hair is really dirty so I will be washing it before we're going to Brandon's tonight. That is the plan. <laughs> pretty much all packed. I'm using my Monos packing cubes, of course. They're like my favorite thing ever and just make life so much easier. I've got my underwear and socks in this tiny one. I've got like button-ups, linen pants, and then dresses in this big one. And then I just put some of my workout shorts here with my like day-to-day -day shorts and skirts. And then I've got my sports bras and all my tops. I brought so many tops, but they're all tiny. So I'm kind of just trying to fit all of them in here. And then I have a pile of all my bikinis there and then of course i'm bringing a little baseball cap this one's from brandy millville and then i got this little bag which is super cute and perfect for the beach and it's from abercrombie so i'm probably just gonna like fit those in my bag somewhere i'll probably put my bikinis in this little pouch here and then all my packing cubes can go everywhere else and then i'm trying to decide on shoes still <laughs> i don't really know what shoes to bring yet definitely like flip-flops and slides for the resort and just like walking around going to the beach and stuff but i do need to figure out some like nicer shoes to wear as well okay update guys i've packed my whole suitcase pretty much everything's packed i just have to put my toiletries here and i've left a little space for it so that's great and now it's time for me to do my long-awaited everything shower shave my whole body self tan wash my hair i'm honestly not too sure about self tanning just because i have to also wash my hair and it's gonna be a lot so i'm gonna decide in a little bit and see but nonetheless it'll be an everything shower and i also wanted to show you guys my little what i'm bringing on the plane i'm bringing my Longchamp tote bag which I just got for Christmas and I love it. Got a little claw clip on the strap just in case you know I gotta have a claw clip and then I think I just have my blue light glasses and a little road lip balm in there and then I've been super into pouches lately. I just want to have the most organization possible so in this pouch here I've got like my chargers. I've got my hard drive. I've got a little adapter for my laptop, hand sanitizer, a little sun stick. I got some tissues, some hand cream, gum, um, hand sanitizer did i say that already <laughs> anyways i've been really obsessed with pouches and this one's really cute it was only like 11 dollars from amazon so i highly recommend and i will link it below i'm also gonna try and journal this trip i want to write my thoughts and i have this really cute journal that's from papier that i've had for a little bit now but i haven't really written in it yet so i just want to start like brain dumping into a journal like anything and everything so i'm gonna bring that and try to do that like on the beach at the pool during this trip but yeah i really love this putting this in here gonna bring my laptop I did use self tanner. I talk about this tanner all the time, but it's literally the best and I just got a new one and it's by Salty Face. It's their tanning foam. So I use this all over my body and it goes on like perfection. I haven't tried better self tanner than this. So highly recommend. I have a discount code, so make sure to use it if you are interested in buying. I'll put it in the description box. And they come, if you get their brush set, it comes with like these little buffer brushes, which allows the tanner to blend even more seamlessly in like your elbows, your feet, your wrists like
like places where it tends to kind of get splotchy. These are really, really helpful. I just figured I'll feel so much more confident getting there with self tanner on and then hopefully getting a bit of a real tan when I'm there. So yeah, I really need to pack my toiletries now. So while I have my hair up and I'm just chilling in my self tan, I'm gonna pack all my toiletries and I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use this bag. I used this one last time when I went to Tofino, but SkinCeuticals sent it to me. It's like a really nice structured travel case. So honestly, I think this would probably be my best bet just to keep all my products safe in my luggage. And then I might use a smaller pouch too to put like little things but we'll see let's do that now though because it's already 7 13 and i have to eat dinner dry my hair i think i'm gonna put heatless curls in and then go to brandon's house and then yeah and then i'm ready to go off because our flight's really early in the morning so this is kind of like the last step before my hair <laughs> now and i just wanted to end off this video here thank you guys so much for watching this little prep and pack with me i think it's gonna be really long because i have so much footage but get ready for the mexico vlog coming soon i'm gonna vlog my trip i decided because i just really want to keep you guys updated with my trip and how it goes and just show you everything that happens so thanks so much for watching i love you guys so much make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye